extra slip. So uh, let's hope we see more of the same. Must be bees or something on the field. So Faf to see dropped. Everybody drops. So it's a swarm of bees across the ground. Never a pleasant sensation when that happens. Definitely a fun opportunity. I hope no one's allergic. Maybe it's the pink. Maybe it's the colour that's attracted them. Well, something happened. Something has. That came out of nowhere. Still a few of them buzzing around. The slips are comfortable. They back up on their feet. But uh, Chris Morris, mid off and mid on. Prostate on the ground. around Adrian Burrell, South African assistant coach. He's used to working with bees, so maybe we need to get him out there. So Abit Villiers, he won the toss earlier this morning, decided to bowl first. So from South Africa's point of view, so far things going according to plan. Sri Lanka initially got off to a good start to open us. Tikwala and Taranga did a good job, but since then they've lost wickets at uh, regular intervals. So this is what's happened just before when those bees came over. <laughs> Peter Villiers was the first man down, and that triggered a somewhat humorous reaction from the rest of the team, the Sri Lankans and the umpires. And well, certainly this day is ever all. It's brought him a lot of success. Premeditated, picked the right one to the wrong one to sweep. It was a quicker one and it was right up there in the block hole. The no surprises come around the wicket. It does sort of take leg LBW out the, out of the equation and to last. Uh, another problem with the bees. They might have to go off for a bit to try and sort this out. I don't think this is uh, working out too well. I'm not sure how would they would remove a swarm. With bees that are refusing to go. That's how it started. Fafta was it down there at second slip. And since then, the bees have been floating around in the arena. So a real problem for the umpires to keep the game going. Problem for everyone, in fact. Stocks on the ground. I he's trying to play keep going. Funny seeing the music side of it. Well, this is disconcerting from players' point of view. That all the bees buzzing around that Quinton de Kock helmet. He wouldn't want to get that one on in a hurry. I reckon it's the color of the, the helmet they're attracted to. Yeah, I think this is a sensible decision. It looks like the players are going to go off for a while to try and get this situation under control. The umpires uh, are just conferring there. Maybe they'll take a, a drinks break in the meantime. But this is not helping. So, South Africa, they won the toss earlier today. The crowd have been buzzing because of this. This is uh, Quinton de Cox keeping helmet that he has just behind him. Have a look at this. Clearly, they're excited about the Protea. There's plenty of play out there. Just, uh, God, who's going to fix this? That's the problem. Someone's going to, uh, well, mind you, Quinton de Cox got the gloves on. Let's bring some reinforcements out, shall we? So this has been holding up play for some time, unfortunately. At the moment, 117 for four. 
is the score, and we're just going to pause play at the moment. Have to be able to work him into gaps. Sri Lanka digging a hole for themselves because they're not playing the spinners proper. Yes, let me uh, just clarify what I was saying. I, I mean the seamers. Tahir has uh, been sensational, has been brilliant. The seamers, I find there's a question mark, there's inconsistencies there. And uh, yes, there's still some time to work before the champion trophy. Xavier de Villiers, he can do most things, Xavier de Villiers. Oh, that hasn't worked, clearly. Quinton de Cox pretty keen to try and get himself. Oh, he's got it, he's grabbed it. But he's got it. Yeah, Farmer's here might be uh, doing that to make sure that don't put it out, whatever you do, Quinton. Quinton de Cox in his pink helmet. He's built on honey. Some honey spilled on that helmet. I wouldn't be too keen to do uh, to get that to, to go to the change room either right now. Oh, there we go. There's a bit of ducking and diving. Wayne Parnell. Rui Marks to the rescue. Just had a quick look there of Chris Scott. Now Chris Scott is uh, the groundsman. He's the assistant groundsman now, BB. Neto Butelezi is the man who's uh, the groundsman of the Wonders now, the head groundsman. But this is Chris Scott's last international game. He's been at this ground as the head groundsman. It changed this year, but he was the head groundsman up until the start of the season for 45 years. It's his last international game. He's going to see the end of the rest of the season now for 45 years of that job. Well done, Chris Scott. One of the best in the world, without doubt. And, but here's his biggest test. 45 years, but... Has he done this before? Has he had such a challenge on the cricket field before? No, he's given no, up quick. No, that's oh, a geez. No, that was a poor effort. No last hurrah from Chris, uh, Chris Scott. No, he's not looking impressed. He thinks to himself, well, why should I get stung by about a thousand bees on my last day on the job of international cricket? He's a good judge. An outstanding groundsman. Now he's got plan B. He's working with purpose, isn't he? He's off he goes. Wonder, wonder what this is. That'll be interesting to see what's uh, going on as well. Oh. The little pork outside off stump, not working. No. Right, here we go. Ah. If in doubt, go for the old fire extinguisher. That, I would imagine, is not going to make the bees too happy. And whose idea is that? Chris Morris. But he doesn't want to give it a spray, though. He's just come up with the idea. Ah, there we go. BB's got one as well. Yeah, for but to lazy. Oh, there's a... Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. This is it. Yep. Right up, Bethel. This is your ground now. Oh, here we go. It's your ground, big fella. Take care of the bees. I hope you can sprint nice and fast, BB. We'll get a slow-mo on this as well, I reckon. We might need it. Here we go, BB. Oh, goodness gracious me. Now run for your life. <laughs> Where you go? Where you go? That's it. Turn. Turn and sprint. Quick, BB. He's not called BB for nothing. I guess sprinting is the last thing he'll do. <laughs> He's extinguished. Right on, Bethel Botelazi. Good work for the head groundsman, we think. Well, that's got the crowd on their feet. A lot of smiles. They are alive again. Thank goodness they didn't listen, listen to the guy on the left. Rui Marks, their floor manager. Usually he knows everything. Yes, yeah, Skid's pretty good with uh, most things. Well, they're not convinced that all the bees have been packed off. And if they can play to one, one side of the park, what do you think? Have a one, one half game. Ah, here we go. This, uh, this extinguisher is now working. I think the, the, the sensible thing might be to, to try and get off the park for a bit and see if we can get. Uh, oh, here we go. Here's problems. 
what could possibly go wrong Characters of uh, South African sport is remarks as well, and all around the, the sporting codes in South Africa. So he's made himself useful. Good old Ray. So the players were actually coming off, but between Rui and BB, it looks like uh, things might be reasonably sorted. I think the grass might be dead for about. Wow, what a day that was. That was uh, sensational from A.B. de Villiers. And uh, the most remarkable thing is that he uh, putting it about 30 not out. Anyway, here's the update. And the bees seem to be of, uh, or have captured. And hopefully we're not too far away from things getting underway here. There's the bees in their uh, rectangle container that's clearly full of honey. So they're uh, buzzing those bees. Chris Morris is on the sidelines. Just getting an opportunity to uh, check out that bucket. Chris Scott's bucket that he's had for not 45 years, but there's still a few bees around that one. So clearly we're going to have to uh, just wait a little bit more time. Please stay with us because... Uh... <laughs> because I'm trying to do the field, trying to cheer on the field. It's not... <laughs> 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 yeah, I know, I have myself so you take off your